Uh, just for both you guys, um, obviously in January when you guys all came in and announced the UK Championship tournament, um, how was that experience for you guys, both kind of getting the call when you're going to be in it, and just the experience leading up to the event in Blackpool? Uh, for me it was great, uh, it was the opportunity I've been waiting for. It's to be put in front of that audience at that time of this career that I've had, uh, I was shocked and horrified a little bit to start with as well, thinking, Jesus, I'm too old for this now. But then at the same time now, I'm so grateful to actually be here and being given the opportunity. Uh, I'm hoping now that the next step for me in the opportunity is to um, face you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Again, there's a lot of pride that comes with it, you know, uh, to have 16 guys coming from an independent background and never done any TV stuff before. And we all had the same mindset, we need to kill it. And and going forward, I keep saying it in these interviews, but it's it's a case of we don't know what the future is. Um, we, we won a UK show, so we're trying to kill it every single time. And that was the mindset back then. It's just exactly the same now, and I think it's going really well. So I think I'm just really proud about the whole thing. Um, just going back to the UK Championship Tournament in January, um, for you, Pete, at the end of night one, there was the, the angle with you, William Regal, and everybody was talking about it, and I just thought, are you guys going to have a match together? Um, what was it like for you to be involved in that story and sort of the lead-in for night two, almost in addition to the matches? And how, do you, how, much, how important was it to have a story on that show to lead out to night two, do you think? Yeah, I think it was really important. It's, it's one of the, the... So, I think timing is has been the, the biggest thing for me, but to be able to be in that uh, high pressure environment surrounded by those people and I, I like to think I delivered and I think that's what's helped me the most out of anything um, and also to be around people like Regal who's so passionate about this and I think that rubs off on if you look at the, the, the UK tournament or anything we've done since I think the reason it's been a success to this point is how passionate he is about it so to be able to work with him and, and his passion comes through you know he doesn't break eye contact with me at any point any time we're around each other and I think that it makes it feel really special and it, it sort of brings me to the next level as well um, and I can't thank Regal enough for everything he's put into the UK show and ultimately for, for me being here in the first place. And was there a point during that weekend that you thought this is going to work? Was there a point during that weekend that you thought this could really be a show like a weekly show? So I had a lot of confidence going into it because we knew we knew what they were sleeping on and we knew that uh, they'd pick the right people for the job and that kind of stuff. Again, I didn't realise the scale of what it can become now. Um, and that that moment with Sam and, and Regal and that kind of stuff, that's when I realised, OK, people are really invested in this. It's more than just going to be two days of great wrestling that people enjoy and maybe go back and watch in the future. There's people really, really invested. When I saw that go up on social media and I saw the response to it, and obviously the, the live crowd's response. That, that was when I knew, okay, they're invested, which means, you know, later on in the tournament it's going to be great and hopefully going forward we can make a big thing of this. And Pete, you talked about the, not maybe knowing the, the pressure of going into the takeover match in Chicago. But coming out of it, everybody was talking about that match. And I just wondered, when you got backstage, you know, the UK champion, were there any reactions that you got that now kind of stuck in your mind and, you know, from peers, people in WWE? Yeah, that's, that was when it started sinking in. As I walked back, I didn't know what to expect. And then the first person who met me when I came through was Pat Patterson. And uh, he was telling me how great he was and pulled me in for a hug. And then so did, followed by every producer that was there. And obviously you saw Triple H himself. And then from there, I was rushed off to do uh, interviews. I went and did uh, photos and all that kind of stuff. So by the time I'd actually got back and the, the show was almost done and that, and then I got to my phone and saw it all and it all just started sinking in. So uh, it was as soon as I come through the curtain, but I didn't get a chance to stop until I finally sat down near the end of the show and that's when it really sunk in.